What's going on guys and welcome back to the most spectacular read through of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big pop a pump without a pump. I am the rock that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am T B R Terabyte Reacts and I would just like to say you're welcome. Welcome back guys to another read through of the Ippo Hajime no Ippo manga. Here we are once again. Today we're gonna be doing 10 chapters again. I know it's been a while, but at least I'm trying to give you guys at least um one do this once a month read throughs are a little bit harder for me to do because um i'm trying to do this whilst um as i've said before i basically talk for a living so for me to sit here for two hours regardless of if it's on a weekend or during the week it's hard for me because my throat is always at work. I'm literally talking, talking, talking. And now that things are kind of getting back to normal, even though it's not really back to normal, the pandemic is still going on, right? I, I still have to talk to people, whether it's on a Zoom or whatever. So I'm constantly talking, guys, constantly talking to people, encouraging people, mentoring people. It's... It's a drag sometimes, <laughs> to be honest. And it's not a drag as in it's boring, I don't want to do it. It's more of like it's a drag because that's what I have to do. Um, I could change, but, <laughs> you know, I just want to stay positive and keep it positive. So, it, it, you know, it becomes more of like, um, you know, to add to that. And that's why sometimes when I want to do it, I hesitate to do it because sometimes my throat is hurting. You know, I don't want to talk for that long and stuff like that. And I know some of you are going to be like, then just do it when you can. I know. <laughs> right. So that's the reason why a lot of times, like, I can't do it as often as I would like to do it. But here we are. I feel like my throat is feeling good today. Um, and I think we can get through today. I have to do two read throughs, actually. So kind of rested my throat from yesterday. And today, we are here with another edition of Hajime no Ippo, right? Today, we're going to see if Ippo wins this fight or not. Hopefully, um, some of you guys said if I had went a couple more chapters, um, I would have seen the end of the fight. I don't know that because, you know, in the past... You know, we've also seen that these fights can go on for 20 plus chapters. So I don't know. I don't know that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we are here today to see what happens in this fight between Take and Ippo Makarauchi. Right? So we're going to jump into this, of course. And you guys already know what to do. So before we jump in. You guys that are over in you over on YouTube, of course, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave a comment. Of course, I noticed that I'm not getting a lot, a lot of comments on my manga read through videos over on YouTube. If you guys are, if you guys are, there's not a lot of people watching this on Patreon. There's only three people over there. Okay, there's only three people over there. So if I if if I get 500 plus views over on YouTube. When, it, when the video is on YouTube, I expect you guys to be commenting. Because it's only three people watching before, so you can't say you watched it already, right? You guys are forgetting to come back and um, leave a comment after you go and watch this thing on the Google Drive, man. I'm out here grinding, guys. I am grinding, I'm grinding, I'm grinding for this YouTube stuff. I need you guys to help me get... To where this channel should be because there's a lot of people that say that hey man your channel should been blow up and I know one of the reasons is because my stuff is not on YouTube 
you know, and I'm providing. It's the only way I can continue to provide that kind of content. As soon as I can, right now, I'm not about to go hire an editor. Some people say hire an editor and try to see if you can get the videos. The thing about it is this. I do not know which shows are good or great for YouTube or whatever the situation is as in, you know, what companies are not really paying attention to not copyright strike the stuff on YouTube. I don't know. You guys told me that certain things are safe and then when I put it up, it's either it's getting blocked or, or this and that. I don't know what to do. So I just leave it alone and just go back to what I was doing. So, so let's jump into this, man. I've talked enough for the intro. Let's jump into seeing what's going on for Ippo here, right? This is the beginning of 651. Going past the limits. We're nearing the end of round five now, and it's an ending jam-packed with excitement. It is screaming for Take, Makanauchi. Neither fighter's fists are letting up. It's becoming a slugfest. They're screaming for Take. Because they're going head-to-head -head right now. It's a slugfest in the middle of the ring. Um, Ippo has kind of figured him out, you know, by going lower than him, you know, to get that power back. And he's been folding this dude, but he just won't go down. All right, so Ippo is saying, I can't see anymore. With all this blood in my eyes, ignore it. As long as I'm within range, I can still hit him. Okay. We have, ooh, Ippo land a clean hit again. Boom, to the face. Let's go. Oh, the crowd seems like they want to go wild, but not really. <laughs> they seem like they want to go wild, but not really. They're, he is taking punches. Oh, he get gets Ippo again. He is not going down. He's like, he can, he can still fight back. The difference in power is very clear, but how can... Take with withstand these it's that was weird. Is it a veteran's su stubborn will? It's not that the the girl reporter. He's just trying to fulfill an obligation as a father. Let's just say that both my son and I were hurt by this. Are you planning on going the full ten rounds? But that's crazy. Even so, I'm sure the pain my son felt was worse. Words strike at your heart. Sometimes that hurts more than being hit. If I just keep that in mind. So she's kind of remembering the conversation she had with Take. Um, so, okay. I can survive through as many hits as it takes. But it's too dangerous. He's already past his limit. This is the thing, though. Like, bruh, you're willing to risk brain damage for that? Uh-uh. And, and a left uppercut. Will this finish it? Hippo hits him with another uppercut, and he hits Hippo. But Hippo look like he's not feeling any of those hits. He's like, ah, he's still standing, still fighting back. How? He's beaten pretty badly, but how can this man still be hanging on? Don't stop now, Makarochi. Keep fighting. Go for it, Take. Don't lose this one. That That's enough. I know you're strong now. That's enough already, Dad. Fight, 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 stop. This is nothing to get excited about. So the son is trying to get him to stop. Like, Dad, he's going to get killed. Yeah, because Hippo is hitting the shit out of him and he won't back down. Yeah, you know I'm saying, look at his face. <laughs> Yo, and this dude's art, he, like, he does a really good job. And that's the thing I like about his art, too. Like, he does a really good job of showing, you know, like, facial expressions. You get what I'm saying? Like, he does a really good job of that. Um, of a face getting hit. Kind of like if you slow-mo something. Ah! It's, ah, and 
That was the bell. Round five draws to a close. And he's still out here throwing fists because some is, he, he, he's going to, bruh, you're going to end up with brain damage doing that. He's not even there. He's not conscious. They should call the fight. It's like, Take, the bell, already rung. You can't hear that shit. Go back to your corner now. Right? So we have him holding on to the ref. The ref trying to hold him off. He's still punching after the bell. It's that this truly is a close contest in this champion carnival match. And the sounds of sighs can be heard throughout the arena. As the last 30 seconds of round five were jam-packed. With action, will they wrap things up now in round six? Like, how will this end? We need ice right now, not mouth rings. That bleeding needs to be stopped. I'll stop the blood, don't you worry. It's like, what's wrong, kid? Are you hurting somewhere? Of course he's hurt. He took a beating as well. I... I'm fine. Yeah, Ippo is not really taking damage. He's just wondering why this guy won't drop. <laughs> you know, they aren't working. I'm not feeling anything from Takesan's punches. Yeah, he, he, it's obvious that his punch is not doing anything because you don't even, you're not even grunting when he punches you. So it's like your facial expression don't change or anything. You're not feeling anything. There's nothing, there's nothing behind his punches. He's just... His will is holding him up at this point. I can't feel any strength behind him. Don't back off. No matter how many punches you take, stay strong and just keep on fighting. Got it? I can't remember when it started, but there's no doubt that Takesan isn't. He isn't conscious. Exactly what I said. There's no way this dude is conscious. He's not conscious anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because... Because of the way how things are turned out, you can tell that he's not conscious. He, he's just his will out there fighting right now. Kind of reminds me of when the end of the end of um, the Rockley versus Gara fight in in um, in in Naruto, right? He, he he got up, but he was not there. His will brought him back to his feet to fight Gara. Again, even though he wasn't conscious, guy had to to step in and stop the fight because he was not he was not conscious. He was not there. His eyes, his eyeballs were gone, <laughs> right? So it's like I don't think he's feeling any pain from being hit. He's really amazing. He can keep on standing and fighting despite his condition. But what's his reason for fighting so hard? What is it that is keeping him up? See, coach is, his coach is calling out to him. Hey, Take. The ref is probably going to have to stop this fight. I don't understand how the ref hasn't called this fight yet. Like, that dude is out. He's like, hey, can you hear me? Take, can you see me? Dude is like, it's dark. Real dark. Pitch black. So, so sleepy. Take, huh? Who's that over there? He sees his son. Idebu, you're so... Why are you crying? Did you run away from a strong champion, Dad? That's what everybody else saying. Dad, did you really run away? Seconds out, and he's up again. Look at this dude. Why is this fight still going on? Now, I'm worried about him, bro. This fight should have been stopped, man. It's like Take, you, and he puts the mouthpiece back in his mouth for, and send him out there. Coach, you, you're going to get your fighter killed. He's coming out of his corner. take -san still got the will to fight. What is it that's keeping him up? Is it the belt or is it something else? Can I even knock him out? Will my fist be enough? Because Ippo, Ippo is legitimately worried about this dude, just like I am. It's like, and round six begins. Will we see them duke it out again? Go, Makanauchi. Beat him up, man. Knock him out for good in this round. Stay standing, Take. Show us your guts. End it all with a killer exchange tonight. They don't even know what's going on in the, in the ring right now. 
screaming Makarauchi, Makarauchi Take and chants for both the hometown and hero and the visitor fill up the arena. Who will answer the call of their fans? Ah, the champs on the move. A left. And oh my god. Ippo, oh damn. Is he gonna still get up after this? Let's see if he's, if, oh, he's down, bro. He's like, ah, the champ delivers a tremendous one-two. And the challenger is down. That some army has. It's like he was chopping down a tree. It's like, go to your neutral corner. It's like, finally, I knocked him down after fighting him for so long. Is this the end of the line? Will a count even be necessary? He's up again. Oh my god, it's like, what the hell? No way, ha! Huh? What? Huh? He's up! The challenger stands as if nothing happened at all. Take, I'm going to count. Huh? He pushed, he pushed the ref out of the way. But the standing eight count continues anyway. Take, up your fighting stance. And he goes into fighting stance, like it. So this is why you were shaky during the break. I see now, Take is losing consciousness. That's how he's able to withstand the kid's punches. He isn't, he isn't able to comprehend the pain. He's going through in that state. Right now, Take is nothing more than walking ambition. It might be impossible to beat him by just knocking him down. Kid, we don't need to go for any more downs. Just pin him to the ropes using a combination. If he isn't able to defend himself then, the referee will put a stop to it. It's like a, a combination. Hit a boo. Your father is still standing. We can still cheer him on. It's, it's enough. Even the kid realizes that his dad is like, but the crowd is so, you know what I'm saying? It's like calling for blood. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like they're not even paying attention to what's going on. I'm pretty sure that, Aoki them probably, you know what I'm saying, Takamura, I'm pretty sure they noticed that he's not conscious. It's like, what are you saying? Your father's fighting for your, I know already, dad won't ever run away. He didn't run. I was the one who ran away. Did your daddy ran away, run from the strong champion? So they used to tease him too. I knew dad had to pull out be because I got sick, but I didn't say nothing back to them. All cause I was too scared I'm nothing but a weakling it's all my fault dad's getting hurt out there well I'm I'm so sorry I'm sorry dad just cheer Hidibu. cheer for your father you can do it dad you can do it H the fight's going to resume there's plenty of time left in round six, will the challenger last through it? Does it? Does he have the strength to make a comeback? Even when he's half dead, I can't stop Takesan with just ordinary combos. I've got no choice left. Or will the champ prevail? But to use the Dempsey roll. So Ippo is planning to use the Dempsey roll. Okay. All right, I've got no choice left but to use the Dempsey roll. That stance, it's, he's going to break the seal on it. It's the Dempsey roll. It's true that it's probably the best choice there is to finish off an opponent who's barely clinging on. But for Take, it's the worst case scenario. If he were to take that combination in his current state at the brink of consciousness, he die. And and the thing about it is this like is like dear dad so the wife and kid is calling out to him. The crowd seems to know what's about to happen. It's time for you to finish it, kid. So Ippo goes into his stance. The champ rotates his upper body as he moves into close range. All right. The Dempsey roll. He's gonna use it. Alright. To 
So he barrels into Ippo, of course. All right. It's been stopped. The challenger charged in and stopped his weaving motion. He dove into his chest and stopped him. What a tough guy. He stopped it. He's unconscious, but where is this strength coming from? Is this the ability of a veteran? The value of experience? Conscious or not, he's a force to be reckoned with. Incredible. Ignore it, kid. Hit him from above. Take has no strength left for a comeback. Right? Whoa! He hits Hippo. And this is the thing, man. And this is the thing. Why I can't, why I can't stand with Hippo. And it pisses me off so much. So much of the time. It pisses me off when it comes to him. Because he just won't do the things that I would love to see him do. Why are you letting down your guard? Just You get what I'm saying? Like He hits the champ's chin. Sends it flying into the air. What's going on? Ah. It was effective. The champ's waist is dipping for the first time in this match. It was like, oh, you think? You still you still can't. The thing about it is this. Like, one thing about Ippo. Ippo don't necessarily have. Sometimes he can show that, that killer instinct. And sometimes it pisses me off that. He, he, dude, you're in the ring to fight. You're not in there to think about your opponent feelings. Okay, <laughs> like if you're in the in in the ring thinking about your opponent's feelings and how I don't care. I'm in here to take your mother effing head off. That's what I'm in here to do. You're not even. I'm not in here to think about how you feel about this. You stepped in the ring with me. I would love to see. Ippo, I, I don't I'm I'm not saying you shouldn't show your opponents respect. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying he shouldn't show respect to his opponents. I'm saying he it, it's just crazy. It's just crazy, man. I just want him to show that killer instinct. Like, don't pay no attention to that. Like the, the minute you start under underestimating an opponent, conscious or not. You could be, he could get a sucker punch on you, right? Unfortunate um, incident and a big break at the same time. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. He's coming, kid. Stay focused, right? He takes the initiative and declares a challenge. He's too low. There's nowhere to hit him now. What should I do? How about stepping back? <laughs> what should I do? What do I do? Fight the same way you always do, just like you practice. Can't run away. I need to move forward. Forward. He's coming for Ippo with the uppercut. It's like an uppercut. Yes, an uppercut. Move. Get lower. Oh, goddamn, bro. Your face is on the mat. Move forward. Yo, how low is Ippo going to go, my guy? Look how low he is. <laughs> Bro, Ruthless Right Hook. Okay, that's the name of the chapter. Whoa, now it's the champion ducking lower. Oh, damn. All right, and from the canvas. Hit him with the sh... <laughs> and from the canvas. He throws his fist high into the sky. It's like he's going to counter him. He's got to cover up. He's got to cover up. That downward punch is going to be one nasty counter. And he's like, can't stop now. I'm taking you down right here. Okay. This is not clear what happened. It looks like Taki got hit in the face, though. Or both of them. It looks like both of them. Oh. Oh, so so Ippo dodged the counter and gave him the left. Ooh. Damn, look at his head. Lead him back. Wow. That was beautiful. Even better shot on the left there. Uh, let me see if I can show it to you guys. Let me bring this over a little bit. I'm going to put it back, but... Come on. Let me 
do it right there. I just don't want to be in the in the panel when it comes back. That's why I always move it over. But um, right. So this is an even better shot over here from this angle. Nice. Anywho, we got Ippo. Oh damn, he going right into the dem the the twist. Uh, I thought he was going into the Dempsey roll. He coming with that right, bruh. Woo! He's just standing there, looking up at the sky. His head is coming. Oh god, damn! I uh, hopefully he falls before he takes that hit because he did. Boo. Holy moly. God damn, Ippo. Jeez, man. Look at this depiction of a punch. My guy. See what I'm saying? I mean, at this point, I, you know what I'm saying? I didn't expect, I don't expect Ippo to lose this fight at this point. As I said, I'm more worried about this dude. I'm more worried about Take because I don't know if he's going to come back from this. There's no way he fights again after this because it could be permanent brain damage at this point. Ah. Damn. They reaching for him. Ah, another down. The ref steps in to separate them. Will there be a count? Ah, the ref's waving his hands. The match is over. The challenger is finally out of gas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The fight is open. Nah, the fight is open. The fight is over. The challenger is finally out of gas. And the Japanese featherweight title bout is over just one minute into round six. Here lies the son of Kyushu. The tenacity, the guile of this veteran has finally been shattered by the young champion's fist. It was a heated, hard-fought battle, and it ended with a huge bang. Makano Chiepo, he successfully defended his title for the seventh time. Hippo, it's finally over. He's not going to stand up again. It's finally over with. C Coach, you fought hard, kid. This challenger was worthy of praise. Yeah, definitely worthy of praise. You know what I'm saying? But he's going to need a doctor. They're calling out to him, Take, Take. He's still ready to fight. You can drop your fighting pose. You did well. You were magnificent. Oh, I see. So my title match is finally over. It's just like how Kimura-san put it. Ippo's got one hell of a hook. He pivots on his leg with his full body weight, swings his body to the point where his back faces his opponent. Yo, that's what? How? <laughs> bruh, do you know how far back that swing? And if he can, bruh, that's crazy, bruh. To be able to to do that in in in, you know what I'm saying? To do a hook where your back is facing your opponent in a, in quick succession. That's that momentum is ridiculous. And then the full force from that momentum goes into his fist. No one would be standing after getting hit by one of those. That's just how he used it in the end. He destroyed the will power of a veteran with it. Senpai sure is amazing. Mm. Whenever I see a young guy beat up on a veteran like that, I tend to get a little bit depressed. <laughs> Your fellow gym mate won. How can you feel so down? We should all be happy. 
It's like Take is bound to retire now, says Takamura. And that's what I'm saying. There's no way he's going to fight after this. There's no way he's thinking of fighting after this. At his age, this was his last chance. Today, it was him. Tomorrow, that could be me. But still, I do feel somewhat inspired. I feel like I've learned something important today. I don't think that I'll ever forget tonight's match. I'll never forget, says Ippo. It seems he's all right after all. I was worried he wasn't going to get out alive for a minute there. They must be relieved the fight ended with just those two heavy shots. If he ended up using the Dempsey roll, it could have resulted in the absolute worst case scenario. That's very true. Despite all that, he still put on an awesome display. No one will ever forget seeing him withstand all of that. Least of all, his son. You put up a nice fight, Take. Come to fight again. I'll buy tickets if you do. Who the hell is saying that? The crowd. These dumbasses. <laughs> they can't even read what's go what went on in the ring. That man cannot fight again. I wouldn't fight again. I understand he walked out of the ring. He was he was fine. But as Takamura said, it's basically his last chance of winning the championship. Why fight? You get what I'm saying? He's old. He's not young. You know? It's all over. I'm happy Makanouchi was my last opponent. It makes me feel good. Don't be so sad. Even though I lost, I'm still happy. Oh yeah, Hidebu, I promised we'd go to the amusement park after the match. We'll have lots of fun tomorrow then. There, tomorrow. But you should rest up. You took a lot of damage. No way. A man's got to keep his promise. The family's going to the park tomorrow. I wonder, starting tomorrow, where do we go from here? Uh, Dad, I, I really wanted to go to the amusement park with you, Dad. That's how come I wanted you to make it back from the match, okay? But after watching that match, after watching you, I found something else that I want. And and what is and what is that? I Alright, so we're gonna take a break here, come back for part two. Alright, and we're back. Next chapter. Alright, let's see what the aftermath is. The bridge to tomorrow. Ha ha. Oh, hell. This man said he wants to be a boxer. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. I mean, after watching that match, you probably would want to be a boxer. I want to be strong just like you, a man who won't run no matter who he faces or what happens. Please become my boxing coach. And the mom starts crying. And Taki hugs his son. Okay. You got hit a lot this time, didn't you? So they're interviewing Ippo, I'm guessing. Any reason why you s struggled? Was it the pressure of fighting in a match that should have been an easy victory? No. I didn't ever think it was going to be an easy win. And I always expect to struggle to some, to, to some degree. This is for you. Take wanted me to give this to you. Uh, Mentaiko? But why? Actually, he intended on trading it for your belt. But he said he'd give it to you for free now. <laughs> There's no way that I can accept this. It's not like you can give it back to him now. It's like, yeah. Let me tell you about him now that the match is over. What did he give him? I don't know what what the hell is. What is um, Mentaiko? 
What is that? Yeah. Um, there's no way that I can accept this. It's not like you can give it back to him now. Yeah, let me tell you about him now that the match is over. Hmm. So he was a boxer, a man, and a father. No wonder it took a lot to beat him. Yes, he was strong. Well then, now that that's over, let's switch topics. Basically, we all would like to know what's up next for you. That's right, after seven title defenses, you're all out of any competition within the country. What are your plans? Is there somebody you want to fight with next? So, are you moving up? Well, I wouldn't say he's unrivaled in the country. Especially after how tonight's fight played out, I think saying that about him is absurd. But, we do have a general idea. Are you headed for the world? Finally? Wow, this is big news. They'll get a kick out of Makanouchi Kun's punches. It's too early for the world, but we will be moving one step closer to it. Still gotta fight the man, the myth, the legend, Miyato, Miyata, Ichiro. You're challenging the OPBF champion, Miyata, Ichiro. Huh? It's like we've already talked it over with his camp. It's on the condition that Miyata wins his next title defense in two days. After that, consider it finalized. He really said it. The coach actually said it in front of everyone here. He's like, and there it is. They freaking, they freaking serious about this. They're finally going to settle the score. This is probably bigger news than a world match. <laughs> it's like, close the damn door behind you, making such a ridiculous fuss. Coach. It's like, don't get too excited. Don't forget the pain you went through today. Don't fixate on your mistakes either. Look back on this and let it all sink in. Take Kiichi left a very important mark on you today. Something that will help you in the future. Yes, sir. All right. So you won, Makarouchi. <laughs> Miata is like... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Miyata, you need to win this match, man. I want to see this Ippo, um, Ippo versus Miyata again. I want to see it. And now, it's my turn. Ah, one bow. I won one bow. I really got beat up, but my opponent was so strong. So he was a boxer, a man, and a father. He was really strong. Welcome back, Hippo. What happened to your face? With tonight's match, I couldn't help it. Can you eat dinner like that? It should be fine. We'll only need rice and miso soup. I've got the main course right here. Itadakimasu. Oh, so it's like food? Uh, I guess it's food. I, I guess that was food that Take gave, gave him. I finally realized why. That picture came to mind because my father is strong. I'm sure that it was him trying to reach out to me. Actually, I've never had pain quite like this after a match before. Gull. All of those uppercuts are finally getting to my mouth now. It stings. I learned a lot of different things in addition to refining my technique more. And I probably could have only had this experience against Takesan. No, I have to eat it all so I don't forget what happened today. <laughs> Bike down and bear it, and don't forget what Takesan taught me. Thank you so much for passing on your experience to me. KO time! Six rounds. One minute into the sixth round, Makana Uchipo. 20 fights, 19 wins, 19 KOs, one loss. Seven successful title defense as the Japanese featherweight champion. Somebody says, my guess is Miata gonna lose again. <laughs> 
That is trolling at its best right there. That is trolling at its best right there. You know, it's just, why the hell is this thing taking so long to, to go to the next page? What the f hell? I hate when this happens, man. When is my internet out? All right, let's continue. That was so weird. I think my internet went out for like two seconds there. All right, let's do this. All right, so what's ahead for everyone? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Gatsure. So Takamura is practicing his... Gatsuna. I don't know what uh, what those things mean. So, wow, they all look fired up. Ah, senpai, congratulations on yesterday's match. Thanks. So, what are those three getting all excited about? They've all got fights set for March. The Ryogoku Koguki Kan will be the venue. Takamura Kun will be defending his world title. And Naoki and Kimura will be the openers this time around. Don't call us openers. Don't we lead into the main event? The world bantamweight title is the semifinal. You'll open for that bout as well. Who'll they be fighting with? Did you get them strong opponents? Ah, that's right. We didn't get the details on them yet. Takamura's is rank third in the world for middleweights so of course he's strong hmm like i care about defending a title and after how much i told him to let me move to super middleweight so i can take over my third class to this guy <laughs> this guy man is like there's a proper way to do things in the world quit whining and throw some punches now like, pff, this is stressing me out i'll just use my next opponent to relieve some of that stress I can't believe he can hold on to those mitts. I mean, for real, dude punches hard. And who are we going to fight? Two tough ones. So you should be on your guard. Okay, just the way we like them. From Japan or some foreigners? They're the national champions of Indonesia and the Philippines. Champs of Indonesia and the Philippines? It can't be. Oh, hell no. <laughs> rematch with the lucky battery and papaya died you <laughs> those guys again it's like rematch i've lost the fire my spirit is all gone <laughs> oh what the hell you both barely made it to a decision with a draw on freaking home ground we both messed up big time in those fights we didn't find their weaknesses until the very last minute eleki has a weak body, and Papaya lacks stamina. But they're probably working on that over all this time, so they might not be... That's probably not their weakness anymore. This time, we're gonna win. Those guys are still champions? I wonder if they've been defending their titles all this time. Don't worry. We'll win by knockout this time around. Come to think of it, I've gotta pay that Papaya bastard back. That Brocco man incident... <laughs> Made me into the laughing stock of the whole nation. That wasn't your opponent's fault? Now that you mention it, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that wasn't your opponent's fault because that was a bet they all made. It's like, you've been wearing that hat for a while now. What became of the infamous Brocco Man? It's like, Brocco Man has left this world. He left this world, so he's dead then? Has been for a long time. Let's see. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Cut it out. Okay, take that. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck's that? You growing pubes on your head? It's like, fuck you. It just happened to end up like this after a while. This is totally sick. Let me pluck him out for you. <laughs> it's like, retard. It took me a long time to grow back these three hairs. It's like, that's enough. 
take your matches seriously for once, would you? He made everybody laugh, but I'm totally serious here. Damn it. We might as well make it a here death match then. The loser will get his head shaved right in the middle of the ring. This ain't pro wrestling, man. <laughs> well, anyway, that's our situation for right now. What are you up to? Shouldn't you be recovering from yesterday's fight? Well, uh, I know it's kind of troublesome to ask this, but I came to see if you guys wanted to come see Miata Kun's match with me tomorrow. Oh, yeah, tomorrow it's Miata's match. What? Aren't you guys interested? He's opponent is rank six right he'll crush him we already know that he's gonna win it manabukun i'm sorry i'd really love to go but my coach from high school asked me to pay him a visit you better watch closely then after all he's going to be your very next opponent uh, yeah kumi chan says she'll go <laughs> oh my god don't do stuff like that without asking <laughs> what after all the trouble of setting you up on a date, it won't even be a proper date. This match isn't your typical fight. Shut up. You know you're grateful. In this case, I'm actually not. Fuck, man. You've been way too stuck up as of late. I guess after defending the title seven times, people start to change. <laughs> I was like, no. It's just this time I need to... Like, shut the fuck up. Get out. <laughs> that hurt. Oh man, I really don't appreciate it this time. I'm not going to be in the mood to watch the match then. It's my next opponent's match. I'll probably be really quiet, so I doubt she'll enjoy it at all. Uh, if I knew it'd end up like this, I wouldn't have asked them. I'm going to bore Kumi-san to tears. This is all your fault, Aoki-san. Alright, next chapter... If we can get there, <laughs> you know, it's just so weird sometimes when you see um, certain things happening in this manga, man. It just goes to show you that, you know, things progress in a way that I really like in this anime, anime, this manga. And it's a very easy read. I think that's what I enjoy the most about this manga is that it's a very easy read it's not taxing you get what i'm saying it's not taxing it's not much to it's not a lot to look forward to or not knowing it's not like berserk where there's a lot of lore and all of this other stuff this is just it's inspirational it's hype you get what i'm saying and it's a very easy read so it just makes it easier for me to get through it right so Another chapter, got two more to go after this. Um, I'm at a loss, and I'm getting anxious too. First off, it's Miyata-kun's Miata match, and Kumi-chan says she'll go. Now I can't give the fight my full attention, and I won't be able to say a word. I'm so nervous. I can't ignore her when she went out of her way to come see it with me. But I can't watch the match with butterflies floating around in my stomach either. I'm in a lose-lose situation here. Ah, this is such a pain. And what's with his ridiculous hair? <laughs> He's making fun of me. He definitely is. I'll give him a piece of my mind the next time I see him. Time's passing by so quickly. What should I do? What should I do? Sorry. So Kumi is here. For being late. There was an emergency. It's okay. Don't worry about it at all. It's fine, really. It is. Uh, uh, these cuts. Uh, well, I had a match and I had to get five stitches. And, oh, damn. She getting real close up in here. And, <laughs> um, I'm alright, though. Everything's okay. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Then I'll, I'll take your word for it. Okay. Congratulations on your defense. Looks like it was a hard-earned victory. Thank you so much. It was a long, drawn-out match. Oh, wow. In its own way, this is really great. 
I need to thank Aoki-san for this. It's always nice to go out with a girl, man. Especially a girl that likes you. It's always a nice and pleasant experience, you know, to go out with somebody of, you know, not necessarily similar interests, but more of like you're both interested in each other. And the thing about it is that Kumi wants to be with him, but she's not going to say that. And he's not going to say it either. So it's like they want to be with each other. So it's a weird situation. So it's it's always good to see them together. But at the same time, you really want them to make it official as in to be girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. You really want them to make it official. But I think that is being drawn out for a reason. I don't know what the reason is, but maybe it is a reason. The match is just about to start. Who is it that's fighting today? I came without even knowing what's going on. Is today's fight is an OBPF title match with Miyata Ichiro. <laughs> My boy just pulled up. <laughs> Kumi's brother just he just he just pulled up. You know, this guy, man, he he just he's creepy, but a cool dude nonetheless. You know what I'm saying? I didn't invite him. I didn't even mention this to him. I'm pretty sure I know how he found out. It's like, what's with the chattering? Didn't you guys come to see the fight? Yes, we did. Why are you being so quiet? You got something to hide, huh? No, we don't have anything at all. When the junior, uh, when the junior lightweight, when the, when's the junior lightweight champion carnival match? Junior light, oh, oh, so... Mashiba-san. So, Ippo is asking uh, Mashiba. Okay. In April. Okay. Your opponent? Don't got one yet. I've wiped out all of the nation's top rankers already. Nobody else wants a piece of me. I bet. But there's still one guy that I have to pay back. Payback among the junior lightweight rankers? But who could that be? Who said he was a junior lightweight? <laughs> Still want to beat Ippo, I see. It ain't over yet, you hear me? Come and get some. <laughs> He's like, you don't have to worry about paying me back. <laughs> Why are you out with this loser anyway? <laughs> Kumi's like, it's none of your business. Makarochi-san, it looks like it's about to start. This man is straight up cock blocking right now. <laughs> straight up cock blocking right now, Mashiba. That ain't cool. Thank you for your patience in waiting. That is such a dumb thing to say. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no whoever wrote this as a trans as a translation is wrong. Because I'm pretty sure that's not what nobody says patience in, in in waiting it's the same thing you can't nobody says that it's like thank you for your patience in waiting if you're being patient you are waiting <laughs> oh my god stuff like that really bugs me when people say stuff like that because if somebody actually says that to me i'll be like you know that's not you can't say that it's in english it's wrong it's wrong to say that. If you're speaking proper English, it's wrong to say that in the same sentence. You can't say that in the. You can't put those two words in the same sentence because it's it's a repetition. You just you just don't do it. It sounds about right. It sounds good, but it's it's just it's like. You know what I'm saying? It is you you're saying the same thing. You you get what I'm saying? It's like you're saying the meaning of what you already said. Like it doesn't. Mean, you get what I'm saying? So, uh, and now we're ready for our main event of the evening. It's now time to start the OB, OP, BF weight, featherweight. I messed that shit up so bad. It's now time to start the OP, BF featherweight title match. The crowd sure is fired up. In the blue corner, ranked sixth in the OPBF. From Korea, 
Shay Jong Bong. <laughs> if that's how you pronounce his name. If he wins, he'll not only receive the belt, but a world ranking as well. The challenger has stated that he's never ever had a more appealing match. Will he be able to take them back to Korea he, as he has claimed he would? After 15 bouts, he has 13 wins, 10 by KO with 2 losses. But he's never been knocked out. What a body this Korean fighter has. I'd say he's one, two, one tough customer. Hey, this guy, Miyadokun's opponent? And in the red corner, the champion, Miyata Ichiro. Currently, he carries the rank of fifth in the WBC. And Japan's biggest hope at the moment in the pursuit of a world title. A world title. The crowd's already en entranced by him. I'm done with this English, bro. <laughs> the crowd's already entranced by him. Okay. Is it something about his aura that causes this fascination? The blink of an eye is all that it takes to miss out on his light speed moves. So don't take your eyes off his fist or his footwork. Will we see it tonight? The prince's blade, the counter. Glaring at him before it even starts. Since he's your next opponent, you want to see him fight even if it's with a loser. Next opponent? Well, uh, it still isn't official yet. Well, who should we cheer for then? You have to cheer for your fellow countrymen. Makanouchi-san, are you going to fight against him? That's right. Takumi-san, Miyata-kun is an enemy that her brother fought. I don't give a damn about this fight. They can both go down for all I care. Come on, Al. Please don't say such bad things. Kumi-san, let's cheer for Miyata-kun. Let's do it. Sit down, dumbass. <laughs> I'll do what I can. It'll be no problem. Miyata-kun will definitely win this. It's finally time for the bell. It's finally time for the OPBF title. The winner will go on to accept the challenge of the national champion, Makanouchi Hippo. It would appear that the Miata camp was already negotiating this deal. But will the clash against his rival actually materialize? What? Miata and Makanouchi are going to fight now? Is that true? I want to see that. I want to see that fight big time. Don't you dare lose this one, Miata. Your fans are counting on you. Get this match over with and let's have the fight between rivals. Take Makanouchi challenge. It seems like everyone is willing to, really excited to hear the news about you two. Uh, yeah, it's like they think it's already over. There isn't any guarantee that Miata is going to win today, though. But, but he's going to win. Miata-kun will definitely win this match. You should already know how hard it can be to win a match that everyone thinks is a done deal, right? And when people who are expected to lose get their head together, they're capable of anything. So in a situation like this, it's only natural for an upset to occur. Hmm? What is it? It's, it's nothing. It won't happen. No upset is going to happen tonight. Both fighters return to their corner. The pressure is on tonight. Will he be able to clear the title defense and meet his rival inside of the ring? He must be here. He's watching me out there. <laughs> Waiting for me. What are you looking at? Stay focused. You should concentrate on your current opponent. Okay, Dad. Miata has the edge in speed and reach. It won't be a fight if you're at a distance. 
Step in and keep a tight guard. First, stop his movements by attacking his body. You got that, Jung Bang? <laughs> Ju Bang, Jun Bang? <laughs> Once this fight is is um over, you'll be the champion. Your goal is the world. Oh, there's the bell now. And it signals the start of the match. The champion is on the move. He's come to the center of the ring to touch gloves. I don't know much about this guy. I'll use the next three minutes to study him. Still acting like a spoiled brat, eh? That dude, he drove in. Oh, damn. Ah, but the challenger charges in instead. His left swing sends the champ's glove flying away. That was such a cheap shot. Don't you have any respect at all? He wanted to touch gloves. That was cheap, especially since he wanted to greet him. That shows how spoiled you are. What good courtesy anyhow? What good is courtesy anyhow? The moment the bell rings, or better yet, the moment you step into that ring, it's kill or be killed. The challenger breaks his rhythm. He's aiming to get inside at his body. He's got the champ on the defensive. At short range, he, he throws out strong strokes. You've got me out of pin down now. One punch anywhere, just one, and you'll take pace. He's barely saying that. Oh no, that was a headbutt and an elbow. You know, this guy's out here cheap shotting, man. What? Damn, he goes for, goes for the face. Like, that's a lively combo he's got there. He's committing multiple fouls. <laughs> he's like, watch out, Miata. You aren't safe at that range. Use your footwork to get out. He's like, why isn't he making a run for it? Use your feet. Get in your range and make it your fight. Because that would never satisfy Miata. That guy doesn't want to run away from his challenge. No, he wants to beat him at his own game. That arrogance will cost him his life. With all these fouls mixed in, he can't tell where fists are coming from. Even Miyata-kun can't dodge this kind of combination. You have to back off, Miyata. Oh, he's taking hits. Ah, here comes the upset. He's going to take it full on. Oh, shit. Is Miyata really going to lose another one? I refuse to believe it. Here comes the upset. He's going to take it full on. Miata. Gun. Oh, sh Yo. The anti Makanauchi plan. Okay, okay. All right, Miata. Oh, shit. Is this nigga really. Is he done? Yo, Miata looking at it. Like, get your bitch ass off of me, nigga. <laughs> Let that nigga fall. Ooh, destroyed. Oh, my God. This the plan he has for Ippo? He's like, ah, oh, one, two. Did you see that just now? Shut up. Ah, did you see? Did you see that? Didn't I tell you to shut up? <laughs> the challenger is down. What just happened? Well, whatever happened, he's down now. I was supposed to be providing commentary, but even I was unable to catch what happened. No, I was simply unable to see it. Going off the angle that he fell down, it must have been a counter from above using his right. I didn't think there was a boxer alive capable of such a feat. Was the counter really a right, or did it come from his left? It all happened in just a blink of an eye. He's so awesome. I can't believe he pulled this off. The fight barely started. I bet he was always aiming for a counter. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> Kumi, a lot of people are confused. I can't blame him. What happened just now was really quick. He wasn't aiming for that. His body just naturally reacted. He already saw that headbutt and full swing combination once. The same moves won't work twice on a counter master. He can't reuse any of his tactics. If I don't have any guts, I'll get killed in an instant too. Five. 
I was shocked by how rough his opponent was, but Ichiro Kun still seems to be having an easy time with him. Time will tell. It's not going to be so easy. That headbutt he got me with hurts like hell. Both the timing and distance on that counter was all dumb luck. Just as I expected, he was able to get up. The challenger rises. Knock him down again. I ain't taking my eyes off the next counter. Now, what do I do next? And the match resumes. Will the champion score another down? Can he finish this in the first round? Forget about the down. First, take your own, take your own rhythm. Oh, the challenger charges in. It's like he wasn't damaged by that down. He goes in. Whoa. It's the champ's left. It stopped the challenger's charge. How many did he just throw? Man, I couldn't see his counter. Now I can't see his left. This man say, shit, he's gone. Where is he? I'm right here, bitch. <laughs> like a left. The challenger strikes back, but no one's there to take the hit. He's fast like lightning. You can do it. This speed is the champ's true strength. Ooh, hit him with the ooh. He keeps fighting back. It could end in an instant, but let's see what happens when I mix in my right. Devastating! A one, two, boom! He keeps going like it doesn't even phase him. The challenger sure has guts. You've never experienced a down until fighting me, right? Your passion, your guts, they're both pretty good. Let's do this. <laughs> it's like this stepping is a part of his style. I see now. I get why he chose this guy. He's a lot like him. It's a different guy. But, hmm, looked like they've already started working on Miyata's strategy against Makanauchi. A fighter with a style like mine, but in that case, this can be helpful for me as well. I have to put myself in the challenger's shoes. I'm the one down there. I can see what's effective and what isn't. That was the bell, put in round one to rest. It would appear we're not finished here yet. But the champion opened up with a dominating first round effort. I'm the one now near. I should have never made that comparison. <laughs> Thanks for the thought, but he just doesn't compare to Makanauchi. Are we done with sizing him up yet? Don't be in a rush and slip up. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Makanauchi. I'm on my way. <laughs> Boss moves. Boss moves. Anyways, that is it for you guys today on, if you're watching this on Patreon, that is it for it today. Um, I'm going to go do the reviews for the YouTube people. You're going to see the review right after this, but for the Patreon people, make sure you go back to YouTube when the video drops and leave your comments and also, you know, leave your comments, leave your likes and watch the review. See you guys then. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. If you are here from the Patreon, let me know in the comment section if you came back and watched the review of chapters 651 to 660. I appreciate it. All right, so the fight between Ippo and Taka came to a conclusion. Of course, I want to talk about that first before we jump into what's going on now, which is the Miata fight. So, and it looks like Miata is going to dominate this fight. I don't know what's about to happen. I thought it was over already. Because for me, um, for me, I definitely understand why they chose that opponent. But at the same time, as I said, I'm going to talk about that after. But the Ippo versus Taki fight and the way how it was concluded was very much how I expect how I expected it to end. I thought we was going to end up seeing the Dempsey roll, but... He stopped Ippo in the middle of it. That was incredible. It was an incredible fight. I enjoyed it thoroughly. And all the respect to Take. Um, but I think in I think maybe this was maybe way back in the day because in today's in today's boxing, in today's boxing, very you know, modern I don't want to say modern boxing because it's not classic versus I, I mean you could say classic versus mod, 
class classic versus modern you could say classic versus modern mo you could say classic versus modern but i don't want to say that because it's a damn manga i don't know how how old this manga is i don't know how long it's been going on for or when did it start i don't know maybe you guys can let me know that in the comment section so i don't want to say that right now because i don't know okay but in modern rules in boxing that fight would have been called a long time ago from the, the from the first time he got knocked down during this doing this read through um i don't remember what i think it was in round i think he got knocked down in in was it round six i think it was round six i think it was the final round right i think it was round six that he got knocked down I think, yeah, I think it was round six. At the beginning of round six, he got knocked down and he got back up unconsciously. The fight would have been over right there. Yes, he put up a fighting stance, but the thing about it is this. Um, with modern bags, not like before where guys were in the ring taking a massive beating until finally. You get what I'm saying? Like the knockdown rule was not in effect back then. Um, in, in classic boxing, there was no knockdown rule. There was no three knockdown rule. Um, now you find that that's a lot more common, but also referees stop in fights when they feel like the, the fighter has had enough and they don't even have to be unconscious. You get what I'm saying? Um, so there's certain things that can happen when 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 you're unconscious. There's a lot of things they can do when you're unconscious, i.e., sleepwalking is unconscious doing stuff. Um, they just call it sleepwalking, but it's actually you're unconscious. You're not conscious of what you're doing, but you are doing something. You get what I'm saying? And it would take somebody to probably try to wake you up, and but that's actually bad for somebody to try to wake you up while you're sleepwalking, which is it's a weird thing, right? Um, it's actually bad for you is that you're actually supposed to guide the person maybe back to bed or something like that They say it's bad to wake somebody up that is sleepwalking like if they're sleepwalking you wake them up uh, It's a possibility that they could experience Maybe a seizure or some shit like that. It, it's it's crazy shit. <laughs> okay um, but as I said man Shout out to Take. He did a very good job. I'm glad that he came out with not that much of an injury but the way how the, the manga portray certain things, you know what I'm saying? It might look even more gruesome than it actually is. It's just the way how it's portrayed and it looks so gruesome, you know. You know, it just looks like somebody is taking like some heavy. We know the punches are heavy, but at the same time, it looks like they're not going to survive what just happened. It's kind of like Makana Uchi punching people reminds me so much of... Um, when, you know, I used to watch Mike Tyson fights because you just, the way how they get hit, Mike Tyson used to move people. And, and the reason why I say, the reason why I'm saying he used to move people is because when he punched people, they move. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like he punches people and they, they, they not move out of the way. Like he, the, he hits them so hard they're they they lift up off the ground sometimes it's just it's crazy it was crazy strength you know and it just reminds me of that the way how they portray his character i don't know if the author modeled ippo off of mike tyson is a very p good possibility that he did and just give him moves from other fighters and stuff like that you know but at the same time you know, he, he, the way how Ippo moves, uh, Mike Tyson did use the pick style, just like Ippo. So I, I don't know if he is modeled off him. I don't know if one of you, I don't know if anybody has ever told me that in a comment section. I don't remember. Maybe you guys did when I was watching the anime. I don't remember. I, I really don't remember. But it, it it's very similar. It's a very similar style of boxing. I don't know if Ippo is actually modeled after Mike Tyson. There's a big possibility of that. But as I said, man, shout out to Take. Did a very good job of surviving Ippo. I'm pretty sure that if he had took that Dempsey role, he probably could have died in the ring. I'm not going to lie because he was taking some massive blows and he wasn't going down. And, you know, I talked about Ippo's 
freaking killer instinct, which sometimes I feel like he worries too much about his opponent sometimes. You get what I'm saying? Like, I want Ippo to be that killer. He cannot go to the world stage the way how he is now. I don't believe in that. I don't believe that when you you are in the ring to destroy your opponent, not to think about how they feel about the situation. You want to be unconscious fighting? You're going to get this work. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying you shouldn't care about your opponent. You get what I'm saying? Because sometimes in fighting, I've seen people get beat up so much, the other fighter is telling them, yo, call the match off. This dude, you get what I'm saying? Like, in that sense, if he was doing that, I totally understand. But he was hesitated. That's what caused him to take that hit in, the, in, in, in round six. He took that hit. His punches weren't doing anything. But if he was staying aware and keep attacking, he would not have taken that hit. You get what I'm saying? So I'm waiting. F There's a lot of stuff. Uh, Ippo is not a perfect boxer by by any means. He's still got a lot to learn. He's nowhere even close to, like, say, a Takamura level. You get what I'm saying? He's not there. And it's obvious. Takamura is still the best boxer in the series by far. You know what I'm saying? By far, in my opinion. So Ippo is not there yet. He's great. Love watching him. But to see the journey, that's what we're here for, is to see the journey of him from amateur to all-out pro to world champion. That's what we're here for. So, um, talking about Miata now and his fight, looks like he's going to have an easy one. This doesn't seem like it's going to be hard for him unless dude gets a cheap shot in and maybe a handicap him a little bit and maybe... Um, I don't see Miata losing this fight. A lot of people think that, you know, Miata, anytime you see, there's a big fight for him, he just loses. You never really see. Um, we've we've watched fights that he won, like against that. I think it was the, the, the Australian dude. Um, that was a good fight. That was back in the anime, though, that I watched. Um, so he has won fights. We've watched him win fights, you know, off pure will. You know, I remember that counter. That counter was really good, right? Um, so, so yeah, man. I think I, I don't think Miata is gonna lose this fight, um, and I really want to see the Ippo versus Miata um, rematch again. I really want to see these two rivals go at it because that would be the big fight, and then both of them can go to the world after that because they're the two best. You know what I'm saying? In the Asian region right now. You know what I'm saying? They're the two best. Um, so we can amount that to, in, in the featherweight di division, I should say they're the best. Right? So, as I said, I don't see him losing this fight. He's already dominating. He's so fast, the dude can't keep up with him. You know? And it seems like he has a plan for Ippo um, in some way, somehow. Um, it's always good to see Kumi and Ippo together. Always good to see Mashiba too. Mashiba, you know, always good to see these characters come back, whether it's after a fight, slice of life episodes, whatever the situation is. It's always good to see all the characters come back. Takamura got a fight coming up. Aoki and Kumura has a fight coming up too. So we're looking forward to that. So that is my review for this read through that I just did 651 to 6. 60 so hopefully you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like the video don't forget to leave a comment i have the berserk read through to go and do so i'm going to take like an hour break and then i jump into that but make sure you check it out when it comes out as soon as this one is um it's ready i'm gonna put it out on the patreon and then by tomorrow morning you guys should have it to watch on youtube because you know gotta render this long ass video out anyways thank you guys so much i appreciate you guys and I will catch you guys next time right here on Terabyte Reacts, man. You guys are awesome. Peace.